195 hips in one day. That's over $2,000, nearly $2,000 with one full lot. In this video, by the time you finish watching this video, you're gonna be able to learn and understand how to catch these trade opportunities just like how I did here. That being said, let's dive in. Okay guys, so let's take a look at gold. So as you guys saw yesterday on my live stream, I was actually showing you guys how I was able to catch this beautiful trade setup that capitulated again over 195 pips, okay? You can see it right over here. And so make sure you guys pay close attention because I know what it feels like to be stuck. I know what it feels like to struggle with trading guys. We've all been there before, okay? So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what I saw. Let's focus on understanding where we were. So on the higher time frames, I knew that we were starting to pull back. So let me clear the charts a little bit because I, I wanna have these key levels pointed out, but I'm gonna clear the charts for now and then we'll reference back. So one sec, let me go back, remove drawings. Okay, perfect. None of this existed. So this, I'm going to even replay it. Screw it, I'm gonna replay it. So none of this existed here. There. So this is kind of what I saw yesterday. And actually, let's go to the four hour time frame because it'll be better to explain here. One of the things I, I noticed, okay? So let's play it out a little bit here. There we go. I think this was, yes, one was this Monday, Tuesday. Okay, let's let it play out more. I think we're close here, team. Okay, there we go. There we go. There we go. Before this starts going down further. 10 a.m. Thursday. This was today. 10 a.m. 2 a.m. So we were around here, this area, okay? What I noticed was that this was an area of significance. So an area of support. Very simple. I also noticed that if you look over here, we were starting to create lower highs, okay? Point number one. Point number two, our 200 moving average was actually trading above price, okay, team? So I noticed that price, as it started to create lower highs, the bears were starting to put a lot of pressure on the bulls, okay? What I'm trying to say is essentially, you can see that, you know, every time the bulls try to push price higher, they fail. They try to push it higher, they fail. And every time they tried to do it, they tried to push price higher for gold, it would fail. And it, it wouldn't go higher, it would go lower, right? So we were creating lower highs. So that was an indication that, hey, the sentiment is starting to shift here okay now another thing that i also noticed and uh i'm gonna tell you guys basically my entry here was so let's go back here because it's kind of confusing me a little bit okay this is much cleaner so this is this is actually how it happened so i really focused on this area here so if now that i knew that we were on the higher time frames right if we go up to the four hour see it's still the same better moving average right price broke below let me see if i could do it with the other one yeah okay price broke below perfect i knew that price was going to probably most likely continue to go down lower but for me the confirmation was once I started to see price actually close below these lows. So if you notice this area right here, this area right here actually closed below the previous low. Okay, this is the previous low. This is the previous low. See price actually closed below it. So if you notice the timing here, it's 9, 6 a.m. This was all... So when I got in, basically I got in on this candle right here. So I'm going to just zoom in a little bit so you guys can see what I'm talking about. I got in here at the 12.30 a.m. Here, let's see. Uh, that is 8 a.m. Wednesday. Do, 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 do. Where is the 12.30 here? Okay, there we go. 12.30, 12 a.m. AM, that's the 1am. So I got in here. If we go to the 30 minute, it's much cleaner. There we go. So this was the area I was looking at. Beautiful. Okay. So stick with me here, guys. On the higher time frames, we knew that we were what? Looking for sells. Simple. If we go here, I noticed that what? We were kind of in this kind of range area per se, but it's not really the range area that I was focusing on. I was focusing literally at this team. Let's clear the charts. I was literally focusing on current price action. So let's clear whatever happened here in the history. And I'm going to clear exactly. So yesterday, look, Thursday 22nd at 12 a.m., 11 a.m. Wednesday at 1130 p.m. Okay, 1130 p.m. This is what I started seeing. Okay, so right now price was weak. We were still creating lower highs after this huge candle push to the downside. This was an area that I had noticed that I said, okay, well, you know, I need to see price break below this area, but it's not just an area. I would say I want it to break below this low here. So this candle low, that was my focus. Okay, that's it. Get about this line. This line just helps me understand that we're failing to create a higher high, but we want to just focus on this is the high area here. Let's say this is in a high up here and this is the low right here. My next target area would have been this area here and this wick down here. These are the only areas that I'm really focusing on price right now for gold. So I said to myself yesterday, I'm looking for sells once we get a closure below this line right here, okay? This middle one right here. Then my target will be very simple. My target, once we break below this area and close below this area, target will be here and then here. As time started passing yesterday, okay, on the live stream, I told you that I saw this break. When I saw this break happen, this was my entry. I said, on the next candle, I'm gonna enter, but I think I got in more aggressively because I just had this feeling that I, I felt the bearishness, right? I felt the bearish pressure, right? So I got in and I put my stop loss. I think it was like 30 or 40 pips. I think it was 40 pips. You guys could see it on my live stream. And I said, okay, target one for sure. Like take profit one would be here okay, or moving your stop loss to entry here. But my 
target one was here overall. Sorry, my our target one was around here. TP1, TP2, and TP3 all the way down here. And I think it could have gone way more further, which it did. Um, it ended up going a lot further than I thought. So let's nail this down to the 30 minute and play it out. So this is what actually happened, guys. So look at this. Got in this next candle, okay, would have been your entry. This candle right here, this bearish candle, pay close attention to you. This bearish candle closed below these previous lows here. Confirmation for me. Price came up, retested this area. And to be honest, this slightly formed a level of supply because it gave us the impulse from here, here, to here. Came back up, retested it. By the way, previous level of, of support, now future resistance. And let's play this out. Price literally capitulated in our direction, guys. Now, obviously, this all happened before I went to bed. You guys could go see it on my previous live stream. It all happened overnight. And woke up in the morning, guys. Look at this. Price capitulated in our favor, guys. Well over 195 pips. But where did it all start? Literally from yesterday when I told you guys I was looking at gold cells. It's that simple, guys. I understood that we were looking for cells. I understood there was still weakness on gold. I understood that the dollar was also potentially going to go up, right? Look at this. Look at my arrow, right? The dollar was at a major level of demand on the higher time frame. Go up here, four hour time frame. It was right over here, which gave us the impulse right there. There we go. This line right here. It looks messy, but if you notice my analysis here, this was my analysis, guys. And look how it went. Look, it went up exactly as expected, came back down pretty close as expected, right? It pulled back, all this type of stuff, right? Even here, this arrow, I anticipated it to go up. It went up. Even here from yesterday, I said it was going to go up. And that's what's actually gave us. We had the dollar reject this area, this previous level of supply that gave, uh, sorry, of demand that gave us the push to the upside. And then look at here, guys. It gave us the impulse push. And that's what made, so we had the dollar gain strength. And that's what made gold completely melt all the way to downside. Over 195 pips, team. That's over $2,000 if you had done one full lot. Just like that. And look, no drawdown. Literally, it did come to entry a few times. One, two, three, four. Came close to entry. But what did we do? We didn't freak out when we saw price coming back up, right? Against us. Why? Well, because as traders, we don't focus on that. We set it. We forget about it. And we trust our trading plan. As long as we followed our rules, that's all that really matters, right? And so that's what I did too. I stuck to my trading plan. I said, okay, I'm going to wait and just let it do its thing, guys. The price went exactly as expected, guys. Guys, if you want to be able to uh, learn more and more how to catch amazing trades like this on gold, which is crazy, and it's amazing to be able to see how the markets move and stuff and be able to take advantage and have an edge on the market, make sure you guys join my BAP Inner Circle, guys. The link is in the video description below. Um, also, if you want to join in my free Telegram group, guys, and connect with the community, make sure you're connected. I want to make sure you guys are all connected and welcome. Maybe it's your first time here. I want you to know that this is a community you can count on. Welcome to La Familia. Uh, say hi, guys. Uh, get connected. Get involved. If you enjoyed this video, let me know in the comments below, guys. Let me know what you think. And also, let me know what other pairs you enjoy trading, guys. I want to hear from you guys. I read every single comment. So I appreciate you all very much. And uh, like I said, new videos every Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. We're consistently posting, guys, live. We're pretty much live every single day. So make sure you're connected. Make sure you're subscribed. And make sure you have that little bell icon turned on so you never miss any single piece of content. Thank you so much, guys, and I will catch you into the next video for now.